I must be tolerably sure before I venture publicly to congratulate men upon a blessing that they have really received one. Flattery corrupts both the receiver and the giver, and adulation is not of more service to the people than to kings. I should therefore suspend my congratulations on the new liberty of France until I was informed how it had been combined with government, with public force, with the discipline and obedience of armies, with the collection of an effective and well-distributed revenue, with morality and religion, with the solidity of property, with peace and order, with civil and social manners. All these, in their way, are good things too, and without them, liberty is not a benefit whilst it lasts, and is not likely to continue long. The effect of liberty to individuals is that they may do what they please. We ought to see what it will please them to do before we risque congratulations, which may be soon turned into complaints. Prudence would dictate this in the case of separate, insulated private men. But liberty, when men act in bodies, is power. Considerate people, before they declare themselves, will observe the use which is made of power, and particularly of so trying a thing as new power in new persons, of whose principles, tempers, and dispositions they have little or no experience. And in situations where those who appear the most stirring in the scene may possibly not be the real movers. Edmund Burke, Reflections on the Revolution in France. Published in October 1790.